the difference is you have to start creating with a little more intention and strategy. I think strategy is the icky word that a lot of people don't want to hear unless you've been in a strategist role in marketing, et cetera, but it's so necessary. And all I really mean by strategy and a lot of the clients I work with is we got to know who we're talking to, what we're doing and why it matters now. So for example, if you really love creating fashion content, the way you go from business to hobby is, yeah, I love creating fashion content. I'm going to make it and it's super fun. But when you start realizing, well, why am I creating fashion content and who for, maybe there's something about, well, I create all this colorful fashion content because I want to encourage women to be more confident. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's about helping give your time back by helping you shop without the stress. Mm -hmm. All of that, it's not like you have to pick a niche. That's definitely not necessary. But you have to pick intention and move forward with that. And when you do, that's when A, it clicks for you to actually start growing more because it's not just you're putting out content because it's fun, you're putting out intentional content that's gonna find the right people so you're growing. And then if you do wanna monetize, A, working with brands, they now get it. They know exactly what you're about and they're gonna hire you because you've built trust with people for that. Or B, because I never want anyone to only work with brands. When you build other revenue streams, if you're launching your own products, your own services, et cetera, people trust you for X, Y, Z reason. If you're just another fashion blogger or you're another category in the thousands, you're not actually going to build a business from it. <laughs>